y'all, my name is Gretchen. I'm the Restless Grifter and I'm a reseller on eBay and Poshmark, other platforms as well, but those are the only two that I have sales um, to pack up. Uh, this is November 10th on Sunday and I'm packing up sales from the 9th and the 10th and I've already packed up this first one because I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I'm sorry. I will show you here. It is a wand, a Harry Potter wand from Ollivander's and it sold for $30. My fees were like $5.98. I paid 11, no, I paid $8 and 11 cents. And my profit with shipping, they paid 42.10 and my profit was 20.23. There you go. First one going out to Ohio. That sold yesterday. The next one, uh, sold yesterday as well. It's a size, no, it's a pair of jeans, Ariat size 40 by 30 jeans, M7, seems to have something to do with the style, slim fit, straight leg, stone wash, western stretch. He sold really fast. I had them listed for 35. They sold um, through a customer offer of 25 in one and a half weeks. ASP is $28, so could have held out for a little bit more, possibly. I could have countered. I didn't. Uh, with shipping, they paid $34.75. My marketplace fees were $5.05, and I paid $2 at a garage sale. So at least I only paid two bucks. Ariat jeans for men. I don't know about women's, but Ariat jeans for men seem to do well and this larger size seemed to do well as well. I'm sorry, I'm tired and I can't hide it. So I'm just gonna be kinda ho-hum. This is gonna go out in a poly mailer. I want to reuse so I'm digging around down here and none of those really fit well so I'm going to grab a an eBay one 10 by 13 I didn't sleep as well um, at the dog house you know when you're not in your own bed and stuff so hopefully tonight I'll get some good sleep and I'll be better rested tomorrow. I am going thrifting. Should I go thrifting? Probably not. Do I have a lot of stuff to list? Yes, I do. Am I going to go anyway? Mm -hmm. My aunt is going with me, unless she can't go because it's senior day and I'm not old enough. She is, and so she loves to thrift. One pound, 15 ounces, 10 by 13 by two. It's gonna cost $6.16, ground advantage. So my profit is 21.54. That's nice, that's good. This is going to somewhere else in Texas. Can't remember where this town is, but I think it's kind of near Dallas Fort Worth. weeks. I might have already said that. That's very possible. Probably likely. Okay, the next one is a Poshmark sale and this is a Bolo-ish. The brand Farm Rio is a Bolo. The brand Javianas. I mean, if you were to find them cheap enough, but they make flip-flops and they did a collaboration with Farm Rio, which is a really great brand. These are just a beautiful pattern. These sold quickly as well. Um, so I would be out of, on the lookout for Farm Rio. They usually have very colorful clothing. 
I've never sold shoes by them before. This was a Posture VA offer. So I'll put some information here where you can get a discount if you want to use Posture VA using my code. It is an uh, automation service for automating your Poshmark sharing and offers. The, these sold in two and a half weeks through a Posture VA offer of $24. I have it set to send out 20% off offers after like five or 10 minutes of somebody liking an item. Um, my cost of goods was $5.41. Marketplace fees, $4.80. No shipping expenses, so I made $13.78. And I'm going to put them in a padded flat rate. I'm just going to kind of stick them in there diagonally. There's that word again. Poshmark will send you your label by downloading it. I mean, by attaching it to the email and you have to download it. My title was Farm Rio Javiana's US 11 slash 12 flip-flops, tropical parrot, leopard, palm trees, beach. I wanted to include all the words of the things in the print because if somebody's looking for a specific print, this is going to Oregon. Oregon, yeah, Oregon. And yeah, that was a fast sale. Two and a half weeks. Didn't make a whole lot, but it's not that bad. Really easy to list. They were in great condition. I did not have to clean them at all. So there's that too. I don't like to clean shoes. So if I'm going to have to clean shoes, there's going to need to be a much larger profit margin. The next item is, I think I'm being recorded like sideways. This is going to be interesting. A Worthington size extra large top shell blouse floral pastel career feminine romantic. I ran out of some keywords for this. This is a shirt I got for free from my sister. A good career top, a good thing to layer with a blazer or a cardigan. Worthington is a JC Penny brand. It's not going to sell for a whole lot. I had it listed for eight. Someone sent me an offer of six. I took that. It sold in three months. With shipping, they paid $12.50. My cost of goods was zero. Marketplace fees, three eleven. dollars I'm going to ship it out in one of these six by nines. It's going to go to Virginia. weighs 3.6. I'm going to round up to four ounces and it will cost 446 USPS ground advantage. So my profit is $4.93. If I hadn't gotten this for free, I wasn't going to be picking it up, to be honest. Um, just not enough profit. That was not part of my sale, my 75% off sale that I have in eBay. I probably had relisted it, which is why, because I think it was originally, but as I relist things, they fall off the sale. So if you're interested in things at 75% off, I'd go look now. Uh, that's a sale someone hasn't paid for. Okay, the next one is something that was part of the 75% off sale. This is a pair of H&M size XL pull-on career pants, tan, straight leg, elastic waist, pockets, comfort. These looked great. I liked the material. I liked, you know, I just think they're, you know, these elastic waist pants people are wearing. Um, I'm wearing a pair now. Uh, they're just so much more comfortable um, than real pants, but they look nicer than like sweatpants. So, I thought these looked great. They looked like they were new. I got them in a blue box, a Goodwill blue box, which, so I wouldn't have sourced these, but I listed them because they were in great shape. Got them in a Goodwill blue box, which is 
You can go to buybluebox.com and order these mystery boxes. My average cost of goods in that box was $1.97 per item. Why don't I have how much they sold for? They sold for $3.25 plus shipping because I did. they were 75% off. With shipping, they paid $9.14. Marketplace fees were $1.53, and we're going to figure up shipping using one of my eBay 10 by 13 poly mailers or will it fit in one of these? I think it might fit in this. No. Good. Let's put that other top in there. Okay, 10 by 13 by one weighing 13.9. I'm gonna round up to 15. I, again, don't wanna get charged. This is gonna to go to Tennessee. I'd say I was rounding up to 14. It's going to be $6.14. And so my profit is negative 50 cents. Well, that's kind of corrupt, but that's what I did. Um, but in reality, I'm getting back a dollar forty-seven because my cost of goods is a dollar ninety-seven. So I'm getting a dollar forty-seven of that back now. I mean, I spent it so long ago. When I'm talking profits, I want to be, you know, subtract the cost of goods. But in reality, I'm giving that back right now. Still. But I'm glad to get rid of it. I had it how long? Um, since February. So I've had them a year and eight months, nine months, year and nine months. Yeah, time to get out of here. Make room for something else. And the next one is a bolo. This is the brand Peter Millar, which some of you may know as a good golf polo brand, and it is. Um, but I picked up a sport coat. I had never found a Peter Millar sport coat. And this is Peter Millar 40 short. And I don't think it had a size inside, so I just measured it. Um, sport coat jacket, 100% wool, blue tweed, houndstooth, two button. Sometimes sport coats take a while to sell. Sometimes they sell two or three times before it sticks. I think sometimes people return things for fit um, after they've worn it. <laughs> you know, what can you do? But this one's a really cool blue houndstooth check pattern. I am going to, let's see, what did I put as my dimensions before it do anything? 14 by 12 by four. I think I'm just going to put them in a poly mailer. And I'm going to wrap it up in packing paper first. This tape doesn't like to stick to this paper. Then I'm going to put in a poly mailer, one of my really strong ones. Actually, I could put in here, couldn't I? Put that in there. No, it will not fit. But it will fit in one of these thick eBay poly mailers. in this instead of a box to keep the weight down but I also think that this will be just as well protected because boxes can get crushed this is measuring about 13 inches by 12 inches I'll do 13 by 12 by 2 
and it weighs one pound, 12 ounces. It's going to cost $7.52 for me. Keep in mind, I get a discount. I got a $37, no, 37% discount buying my label through eBay. This is going to Florida. So yeah, Peter Millar sport coats. Um, if they don't have the size inside, which this one did have the 40, it didn't have the length. So I used a measurement. And because it measured, and I said short based on length from collared bottom hem, but sleeve size is like a regular. See measurements for best fit. The length was 29 and a half. So someone with a shorter torso, really. It doesn't really have anything to do with your height. I mean, it could, taller people, longer torsos, but you could also be a, you know same height as someone else and have a shorter to torso. I mean, they paid $81.98 with shipping. We did an offer counter offer. I had them listed for $89.96. It was for $89.96. They sent me an offer for half of that, $45. And we went back and forth until we landed on $69.88. Um, this sold in three weeks. It also sold promoted, so my fees are high. Probably promoted at 8.8%. Cost of goods was $10.71, so I also kind of paid up for it. Uh, marketplace fees were $19.04. almost 20 bucks. $44.71 is what I made. And, you know, listing sport coats, I put a lot of effort into it because I'm taking a picture of all the way around and inside and measuring a bazillion measurements. So it takes longer to get those listed. So you want to, you want it to be worth your time. That's everything that sold yesterday and today. So let's look at how much I made on... Bindu. I can look on Bindu. Is that it? Yeah, there's still one sale that's not been paid for. It's an international sale, so I can't send them an invoice or anything to like nudge them. Um, to, is it even listed as sold in Bindu? It is not. Okay, so six sales, the 9th and 10th. Um, my revenue was $204.47, total profit $104.70. Revenue was $204.47, is that what I said the first time? Profit $104.70. The four and the seven together, I don't know, confused me. I've listed 11 items today, which is cool. I don't think I have any more to list. Oh, you do, I have some, some belts, but I might wait till tomorrow because I'm tired. I am tired. My ASP today was $34.08, that's nice, but with eBay, that's gonna include the cost of shipping that the buyer paid. And then I have to turn around and buy a label, so, you know, with Poshmark and others, it's not including the cost of shipping, so it doesn't seem like a really fair comparison. And um, that's everything, y'all. I hope your sales are going well. We're approaching Christmas um, and the gift-giving holiday season. So I hope that things are picking up for you as well. Um, I'm gonna look at November. Stick with me for a second. Let me look at year-to-date. Look how November's doing when I'm like a third of the way through it it's okay it's it's okay it's on track a third of the way through so y'all bye i will see you tomorrow